the need for blood is constant. And we need to be able to have a diverse and open community of blood donors so that we can assure reliable and safe blood supply. In addition, the demographics in this country are changing, and we need to keep up with that. So we need to have a donor population that is reflective of the entire population of the United States. So I certainly talked to individuals who were low risk, men in monogamous relationships, an HIV negative partner, who are at low risk. They're at no greater risk than a man in a monogamous relationship with a woman. And these individuals were very altruistic, who wanted to contribute to their community, and were not allowed to. These new guidelines permit those individuals now to donate and now expand the donor pool and also allow for better equity.